Hi, welcome to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple uh, masala fish fry. This is very traditional eaten in Bangladeshi Sileti household. Um, a nice little uh, fish fried, uh, shallow fried in oil and accompanied by um, some sticky rice. So this is absolutely phenomenal, flavoursome and it's something that is uh, cooked when special guests come and we've been eating it um, since we were young and I really enjoy the way my mom does it and I've asked her not to change it anything to really cook it how she uh, cooked it for me when I was a young lad so um, this is going to be absolutely gorgeous I can't wait for this uh, and hopefully it's going to be a nice video and for you guys to follow at home so we're going to use the pomfret uh, fish which is a rup chanda uh, this is amazing earthy uh, flavor it's very rich and flavorsome and an absolutely gorgeous just pan fried so hopefully you're going to enjoy this uh, fish fried uh, recipe Right, this is the fish that we'll be cooking today. This is the rup chanda, which is the pomfret. Lovely fish. This is actually a frozen fish. Uh, this is Bangladeshi water fish. Um, this is the most tastiest, but we can get this from the fishmongers. I'll try to see, visit the fishmongers to see if I can get some. You can use sea bass, trout, whatever you can get hold of. But this is the rup chanda, beautiful fish, absolutely flavoursome. Now we're going to start prepping this. My mum's just using a scissors. You can keep it on, but it's cleaner and better like this. All the fins have been taken out. Now we're going to slightly score these so all the spices penetrate in the fish forgot to mention you have to cut out the bellies and take out all its bits so be careful when doing this there you go take out the gruesomeness just washing the fish with a bit of salt so it's nice and clean Now my mum is just scoring the fish, nice little cuts, so all the spices go into the fish. Right now we're going to put the masala in the fish, so that's one teaspoon of coriander. You always really. Always Look at that there. Curry powder. That's just basic curry powder. So that's about one and a half teaspoon. That spoon is quite big. Chili powder, about one and a half teaspoon. I think that's two teaspoon there. Turmeric, about one and a half teaspoon. Now lastly, a bit of salt. Again, that's one and a half teaspoon. Salt to taste. Mm. Right now we're going to add some oil. That's about three tablespoons of just vegetable oil. And now we're going to give this a nice little mix. So give it a nice massage. Fish has been marinated with all the spices. Now for the best result, leave it in there for about 30 minutes, stick it in the fridge and let that spice sort of marinate. And if you're really hungry and really impatient, you can fry it. But what we're going to do, just leave it to rest for about half an hour and then we're going to start frying it. Bismillah. So I've got a nice, um, this is from Ikea brand, stainless steel, 28 uh, inch pan. Now hopefully the fish is not going to stick on the bottom and what we're going to do now, put the heat on and now we're going to put some oil. <clears throat> so that's about five tablespoons there, sort of shallow fry. 
and we're going to wait for the uh, oil to heat up. Bismillah. So this is quite a decent size, so we were able to put this two in. Kept it whole. Normally people do cut it, but we kept it whole. So it looks very nice. And um, the heat, how am I doing any? So cook it on a medium gas, so you don't want the outside to burn, you want the fish to cook. In a couple of minutes, be very careful. This is for my dinner. So we're just lowering the gas, it wasn't very really high. So we go. So medium now. Some of the skin has blistered, so you can see the heat of the oil. Just basically put some oil on top because all the spices have, have come out from the oil and my mum is slightly pressing it down for it to get cooked properly. So now carefully cook this. So far it's been about five minutes cooking time guys. So just turn one fish and now we're going to turn the other one carefully. Now this is my mom's cooking method. If you're worried um, about all the spice, and if it's a good quality fish and uh, you put in the correct amount of spices, it's going to be fantastic. In uh, Western and European cooking, uh, we don't really add a lot of uh, spices so you can taste the flavour of the fish. But in Bengali style of cooking is that they use a lot of spices. But the spices, you know, it elevates the dish. Um, with If you get a good quality fish as well as the spice, I mean, that's a match made in heaven. So, um, and we slightly overcook uh, the fish in its cooking, so it has a really crispy uh, edge to it. So you can, you can um, deep fry it, but a deep fry has a totally different taste. But the shallow fry is beautiful. It t stays nice, uh, tender, soft, as well as lovely, crispy uh, outside. So it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So there you go, just constantly putting in the oil on top of the fish and cooking it. So, so far, it's uh, about seven, seven, eight minutes cooking time. Right, in Bengali uh, cooking, we always accompany fish with uh, sticky rice. So today I'm going to show you a proper Bangladeshi Sileti special. Right, this is gluttonous rice. Uh, basically, this is become sticky. So this is the brand I found in um, our local supermarket. So I bought this. Um, this is a 2 kg packet. I'm using two mugfuls. So what we have done is... This is about two mugfuls, um, just in cold water. We left it overnight so it becomes nice and soft and the starch comes out. And now I'm going to show you how we're going to cook this. So I have a nice uh, steamer. So my mom's going to put the rice into the... There you go. So transfer all of this rice over. So key to the rice is... Do you want to eat rice? No. I'm going to eat rice. So basically don't pat it down, just leave it as it is. So you want the steam to uh, come through from the bottom to every little grain, if that's possible. So the quickest way and the best way is this rustic style, just whack it into the colander 
and just let that uh, steam of the water cook every individual grain and then you're going to have some lovely sticky rice. Beautiful. Chicken cooking away. That's really gorgeous. Now I'll leave it on a low gas and let this cook out. Amazing fish. So as you can see, the rice has been transferred over and we put the gas on and now we're going to put a lid on. You love it. There you go. The lid has gone in. We put the on a high gas and the fish has been cooking away for a good uh, about 15 minutes. Wait a second. And my mum saying that he's ready. There you go. So we're cooking four, so we're going to remove these two and add another two. Excellent. I can place the other one down now because that's fine. There you go, absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous looking fish. They are dressed to impress. Absolutely beautiful. Now for the next dodo. Guess what I do need for love. So at the beginning she normally puts the gas up to a high heat and then she lowers it. So now we cook this uh, fish, same process as before, and wait for the rice to get cooked and then we're gonna cook some onions for garnish. There you go, so it's been tossed and turned every two to three minutes, so the inside should be lovely and cooked. It looks beautiful, and hopefully, um, predicting it's going to taste gorgeous, and uh, we used to enjoy it back in the our heydays. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, very pretty and beautiful, lovely colours. Look at that. Eat me. That's what you're saying. Beautiful. So that was in the masala where the fish was. We add him some onions. Look at some of this. Don't you have bloody penny about there? No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Tintas. Acha. Tintas. 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 There you go, marinate all of this and we're going to whack it into this lovely oil full of all the spices and the fish jus. So here's the onion with all its masala and my mum just sprinkled a bit of um, salt. Now we're going to fry this. Um, like a fried onion uh, on top of your fish, it's going to be beautiful. Just like that. So you want this to be golden and caramelised. A lovely garnish. There you go. So it's been cooking away for a few minutes. Give it a nice mix. The heat is uh, on a high heat. That flavoured oil is going to be absolutely amazing. It smells absolutely divine this does. Right, it's been 20 minutes, so uh, we're going to just check up on the rice. We said you're not a lot, boy. You're not a lot, you're not a lot. We just said, we're going to eat it, you're not a lot. So as you know, the, it's very starchy rice. So if you cook it like you cook normal rice, it becomes too sticky. This way it's kind of individual, and this is how I absolutely love it. And it looks pretty and it tastes wonderful. Lovely, grainy. It's almost cooked. Um, my mum's saying uh, five more minutes. Yep, nearly there. Beautiful. I'll put the lid back on. So 
So, so far 20 minutes, give it another 5 minutes and it should be ready. Mm -hmm. Onions are frying beautifully. Mm -hmm. There you go, it's got a nice little bite to the onion, so we're going to turn it off. So what my mom is saying uh, to make sure to make sure to make sure the rice is cooked properly, just get a little spoon or a knife or whatever and just see at the bottom if it's cooked. Because if it's sort of opaque, uh, that white colour, you know it's not cooked. So now this is wonderfully cooked. So the cooking time it took about 25 to 30 minutes really. It took a quite a long time to generate the steam and cook and the water was cold <coughs> mind you at the bottom. So it's steam cooked, beautiful. Now I'm going to plate up. The sticky rice steaming away and the fish, the rice. Fish is cooked beautifully, fried onions, have a little bit of salad, beetroot salad. Now this is the piece de resistance, absolutely beautiful, it looks amazing and I'm sure it's going to taste wonderful. The rub chanda fish with the caramelized onions, wedge of lemon, fresh coriander and some lovely sticky rice. There you go and some green chilli to go with it. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous and if you've enjoyed this don't forget to like, share and subscribe for some more fantastic videos. This is my mom's recipe, absolutely gorgeous and flavoursome. Thank you very much. I'm going to tuck into this beauty.